Hello guys. So let's start the today's discussion of today's INIC paper that is the recall question. So since it is a recall question, it may have some errors. Okay, so let's considering this. Let's get started with it. Okay, so see we have we had a question on auditory pathway. Actually, we had two question on auditory pathway where they have asked you like the pathway. So like everyone uh, remembers the mnemonic E. coli, E. coli, E. coli ma. That is eight now. Then you have the cochlear nuclei. Then you have the uh, then you have the olivary nucleus. Okay. Then you have the inferior. Then you have the lateral lemniscus. Then inferior colliculi. Then medial geniculate body and the auditory cortex. That is area number forty one, forty two. Yeah. Okay, so you had two question on this uh, auditory pathway. Now this question, the new drug for Rett syndrome. So that is uh, that is trophinated. It is marketed by the name of debut drug in the market. The third question, guys. This uh, when I discuss this topic, I had said that it's very very important. This vaginal thrust. Okay, which anti-diabetic drug is associated with vaginal thrust? Okay, so see the drugs that is SGLT two inhibitor, sodium glucose co-transporter two inhibitor. Okay, so what does it do? Okay, it blocks the reabsorption of glucose. As a result, there is increased glucose excretion in urine. When there is an increased glucose excretion in urine, so there is chance of urine infection. That is vulvo vaginal candidiasis and UTI. Simple question. Then they will ask you a next question. Oral drug that increases increases the insulin secretion, guys. So see, we have two drug. This is taken from your first aid. Increased glucose induced insulin secre secretion. One is the GLP one analogs. And one and one is the DPP four inhibitors. So oral drug. So that is your DPP four inhibitors. And uh, you know DPP four uh, drugs are uh, weight neutral drug. And GLP one are the weight loss drugs. Okay, you can remember see GLP L loss drug, weight loss drug. Then the next question that they ask you that is the drug which causes priapism. That is that is your trazodone drug. Uh, similarly, also one question was asked, uh, which drug causes a granulocytosis side effect? Okay, that is clozapine drug. Then the next question, guys. Okay, that is the slap cheek, the typical face appearance that you might have. It looks like someone is slapped. Okay, that is parvo virus. That is known as fifth day disease. That is caused due to parvo virus B nineteen, and it affects the P antigen. Okay, and you you see dog ear projection. So you have like classical fifth fifth day disease, erythema infectiosa. Okay, so, so this is like repeated question. Then it's must sell, guys. Okay, so it's must sell. Ah, uh, so they are asking the next next step. So we know like it's it's must sells. Why do you see due to vitamin D defect? You see this is must sells. And the next best investigation is doing a flow cytometry, like simple question. Then you, they have asked you limited scleroderma. That is your anti centromere antro bodies. We have uh, limited scleroderma and the diffuse scleroderma, Crest syndrome, like. You might remember the Crest syndrome, guys. Calcinosis, cutis, renin phenomenon, esophageal dysmobility, sclerodactyly, and telangiectasia. Then they ask you anti-apoptotic gene. See, we have read about pro-apoptotic and anti-apoptotic. So pro-apoptotic. This has been discussed in my general wala session. Okay. So uh, how I ask you to remember? Bim bid bad puma noxa. Bim bid bad puma noxa. Okay. So this is your pro-apoptotic gene. So anti apoptotic is BCL one L that is decreasing okay loss. So anti apoptotic is MCL one. Then they have asked you all our findings of necrosis except. Okay see so necrosis we know what happens guys in necro in necrosis actually here this necrosis is uh, this necrosis uh, is only a pathological phenomenon okay not a physiological phenomenon while this apoptosis is both okay in necrosis inflammation is present guys okay. So, as the result of inflammation present, there will be cell membrane damage and cell swelling occurs here. This is the difference between necrosis and apoptosis. The next question, guys. This is like one of the most favorite question, which they ask you again and again, guys. How to differentiate on histopath mucor and aspergillus? So simple, sir. Anyone? Mucor, M for mucor, M for mota, and this is a septate, guys. Okay. And aspergillus. Remember, write A S. That is A means acute angle branching. See less than forty five degree branching. You see here. S means septate, guys. Okay. And this mucor. This branches at ninety degrees. So simple. Then they gave you a history of this Kawasaki disease, like four year old boy. What is the treatment? Intravenous immunoglobulin. And the best part, nah, they have put brackets near the answer. God knows how they set the paper. Okay, so strawberry tongue and this uh, like classical history which we find here. 
then they they so uh, then they have given an image based question where they have given like capsule and uh, pillars present okay so and they have given the organism to identify so see uh, type 4 pillars okay this next area so this next area is the answer then they have asked you a question where they have asked you listeria okay this uh, showed a, a stain where the gram positive bacilli is given okay so gram positive bacilli like uh, it can be either mycobacteria corny bacteria mcdonald's is the mnemonic you remember na guys listeria okay but it uh, the question was on differential mobility so it is probably listeria so listeria shows stumbling motility guys everyone knows at 22 degree c but it is not mobile at 37 degree c that that is important then they ask you gotcha image by question that is uh, crumpled paper appearance that you see very frequently then uh, this time they ask you electron microscopy of hairy cell like normally what they used to ask guys uh, norm normally it was something different so like um, they used to ask trap positive tartrate resistant this time something different but similar topic then they have asked you history question of pruritis eczema and they have given you a linear immunofluorescence so see when i have uh, when i have discussed in my uh, biochemist dermatologist short, short session see bullous pemphigoid so there is a linear deposition see i i also compared between pemphigus vulgaris and bullous pemphigoid because these are the most confusing question see and this was the chart if you remember guys okay bullous pemphigoid what is the history itchy red lesion and old age see they ask you pruritus and eczema present in the patient did to same the thing that is asked uh, here okay then this is important okay some of them may confuse with dermatitis uh, herpetiformis here the le uh, lesions are itchy but they are group lesion okay that is important and here you have like iga deposit at in a granular pattern at the tip okay not like in a linear deposit like we see in a case of bullous pemphigoid that is important to know here okay then the next question non scaring alopecia one of the important topic uh, from the hair disorder so they give you four option androgenic alopecia tinea capitis frontal fibrosis alopecia areata so see this three uh, this three questions were discuss alopecia areata see there then you have androgenic alopecia again again discuss see and alopecia and tinea capitis can have both so when you have three option okay so the answer will definitely go all all no other option to confuse okay now see then they ask you colloidal scale okay which is seen in pityriasis rosea we know this is important hhv6 hhv7 wala then they ask you banana sign in ultrasound okay so this is this is seen in your defects like uh, chiari chiari malformation or spina bifida again discuss question okay this osteoid osteoma this uh, not clearly recall but looks like something this to question i have not recalled well okay then cd40 defect guys okay this was some applied question but cd40 we have read that it's seen in hyper igm syndrome but i don't know how it was applied here then cyclosporin causes cholangitis so it affects which gene guys this was the question okay then this was a match the following type of question asbestosis effect um, effect what asbestosis name only the base of the lung is affected okay then you have mesothelioma that is pleural effusion without mediastinal kaplan syndrome what is kaplan syndrome coal worker pneumoconiosis plus rheumatoid arthritis again discuss question then brca1 we know braca1 braca2 gene guys there so they have asked you like which is incorrect like this is also simple question then clue cells guys clue cells is seen in gardenella vaginalis where you have a criteria what is that criteria guys that is your amsels criteria and what basically is clue cells they are basically the cells that is studied with the bacteria see first option epithelium with bacteria is the clue cells then they have asked you the nadas criteria okay so nadas criteria is used for congenital heart disease guys so how do you diagnose a case of congenital heart disease so we should have a two major criteria or uh, two major or or one major plus two minor criteria so what are the they ask you uh, which is a minor criteria so systolic murmur less than grade 3 okay abnormal the abnormal second heart sound guys abnormal ecg c so four things are abnormal and one is less than grade three simply simple to remember then they ask you like uh, matching it guys okay like uh, down syndrome trisomy 21 edward 18 okay trisomy 13 patao sickle cell anemia at the beta chain six position guys where glutamic acid is replaced by valine so simple question so a specific marker of alcoholic liver disease guys okay so we know this all the profiles are done but like for alcoholic liver disease uh, ggt gamma glutamate transferase is done they are, then they ask you about amyloidosis so we know amyloidosis is expected question congo red stain guys if we see under uv light that is thioflavin t 
so they ask you which is which uh, which one is c uh, so amyloidosis al is actually the secondary type okay means this is again important then pattern of immunofluorescence so how we have remembered this that is h4 happens homogeneous okay perinuclear nucleolar and speckled okay most likely it was a uh, it was a question on speckled immunofluorescence as everyone is saying so maximum incubation period i am not sure how they have asked you match the following type or what but syphilis guys okay syphilis uh, caused by tryponema pallidum okay so this syphilis has incubation period of guys 9 to 90 days this also we have discussed in my incubation period wala mnemonic infection which is not transmitted peri perinatal we also we know uh, cmv periventricular calcification rubella also uh, transmit for simon spots and other thing hepatitis b can also go her uh, hsv is not transmitted then they have asked you order of blood draw like this is very very important like everyone reads and go okay so first you have the culture bottle if uh, then you have the blue color vacutainer then you have the red uh, red color vacutainer then you have the uh, gold color then green color then edta1 that is the gray color or lavender color okay vacutainer so this is again simple then they ask you iron deficiency anemia interpretation so we know that iron deficiency anemia serum iron value decreases storage form of iron that is uh, ferritin decreases and the transferrin saturation okay normally the transferrin out of the six molecule two can bind so the normal uh, saturation is 33 percent but it decreases here in iron deficiency anemia then they ask you about one two questions from blood banking guys okay so blood banking so what happened how do we store rbc we store rbc at 2 to 6 degrees celsius okay platelet at 22 to 24 that is around room temperature and cryo precipitate this ffp is then around minus 6 whole blood 2 to 6 degree and this self life depends upon the anticoagulant whether it is cpd acd okay oh, uh, and see then you have platelet that is 20 to 24 degree with continuous agitation and without agitation just for one day fresh frozen plasma at minus 18 degrees so one year it can be stored then they ask you a question on amyloid related to renal involvement so that is simple a beta to amyloid hemodialysis then they ask you the pompous disease deficient enzyme this mnemonic i have already said pompous that is type 2 glycogen storage disorder which shows which shows cardiomegaly that is alpha glucosidase enzyme again simple question then cocaine tactile hallucination as if something is walking over your body then close up in a granulocytosis then they have asked you causes of reversible dementia so we know that vit vitamin a deficiency causes subacute combined uh, combined combined deficiency okay sscd that is again important then they have asked you this graph this is one of the most expected question in a city can have so this is igm type of nt hbc this we have already done then they have asked you well, not a complication of massive blood transfusion so actually what is massive blood transfusion when you transfuse more than one uh, one blood volume see normally the one uh, one transfusion packet contains 450 ml okay so if you transfuse around uh, around more than like 5 liter that is more than 10 volume okay of blood that is that is 10 point prbc transfusion so that is important so there was not a complication see hypocalcemia is there hypomagnesia is there okay see and hypothermia hypo hypokalemia is less likely hyperkalemia is more likely because there will be lysis of rbc so potassium hypokalemia can occur but uh, the better answer seems to be hypokalemia here so this is all about the uh, discussion the questions that i have recalled if you have some suggestion you can improve the question please do it it would be helpful for everyone thank you please do comment like share and subscribe